In this example, we'll practice some more with set operations, the union, the intersection, and the complement. Now we have three sets, and we'll work with these, combining them with different operations. Notice that we need parentheses here, as before, to indicate order of operations. So in part A, first we're going to find the intersection of H and F, and then we'll take the union of that resulting set with W. First then, take H intersect it with F, so we look for all the elements that are in both H and F. Notice that you find rabbit is in both of them, and dog is in both of them. And those are the only two things that belong to both of those sets. So we write dog and rabbit. To take the union of this set that we just found with W, we start with everything in that H intersect F, and then add in anything from W that we don't already have. So we'll add duck, deer, frog, and mouse, but we don't need to add the rabbit because we already had that listed. So our final answer is this set with six elements. For part B, we already found H intersect F. Now we want the complement of that intersected with W. Notice that we weren't given a universal set, so we can't directly calculate the complement of this set. But if we think about what's being asked for, we want the elements that are not in that, but are in W. So what is not in that intersection, but is in W? In other words, we'll take the elements from W and remove any of them that appear in H intersect F. Another way to see this is if you wrote it this way, with a set difference because the complement of one thing intersected with something else is the same as that set difference. But either way you think of it, what you should find is all the elements of W except for rabbit. So that would be duck, deer, frog, and mouse. So that set with four elements is the answer to part B.